our FB Live. Yes, we're live on our multimedia club um, page for those who will take the asynchronous. Before we start, let's stand up and let's have our opening prayer. Offer you this morning everything that we are about to do. Um, good afternoon again everyone. You may now take your seats for those who are here and for those who are in Google Meet. Can you please um, at least open your cameras for us to see you here? Ma'am, uh, Karate already checked the attendance call. Right, thank you so much Nicole for that update. Okay, and now um, our topic for today, for this week, is all about how to prepare and interpret technical drawing, specifically Low chart. Okay, but before that, let us have this deep let's try activity. All right, for our let's try activity, this is to uh, assess your prior knowledge with regards to what we are about to discuss for this week and for me to assess if you're really reading your modules in advance. So the direction here is you are going to match, okay, the column A for column B. So you will be raising your hands for those who are face to face and to those who are in a Google Meet to answer the question. Okay, who will do number one? Number one is from here, from face to face. Read and answer. Yes, begin. Number one, it's represented by a rectangle. The first one mm -hmm. Okay, so number one is, yes, very good. That is process. So clap your hands, yeah, and then seven by the way. Okay, next, in the Google Meet, how about Nicole in Google Meet? Number two, it is represented by a diamond, a process that can answer a decision by yes or no. So number two is letter A, decision. Okay, number two is letter A, very good. That is decision. Okay. And now, let's welcome for our ICT CSS grade 7 week 4 topic, which is interpreting and knowing the different... Um, uh, in technical drawing, which is particularly flowchart. Okay, let's go first to review what we have discussed last time, what we have discussed last week. So you are going to uh, go to your Kahoot, get ready. Everyone on the Google Meet, get ready. I'll be reading the question and the choices, okay? And you have 10 minutes to answer this. Number one, to process data into information, a computer uses a hardware and software b flash drives c cpu d hard drive number two true or false listen inputs are the series of instruction that tells the hardware how to perform tasks blue is for true red is for false three two one let's go 29 got the correct answer three what is another name for personal computer? A desktop computer, server, hardware, CPU. And five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Yes, very good. Windows, Android, iOS, and Mac OS are examples of online applications. True or false? Five, four, three, two, and one. And the answer, of course, is false. Okay, next. Okay, last one. What are the physical components of a computer system called? A hardware, B desktop, C devices, D inputs. Five, four, three, two, and one. And we have, yes. Hardware. The podium says, letterboard, we have. Okay, so our content standard, let's go. The learners demonstrate the understanding of concept and underlying the principles in preparing and interpreting technical drawings. And our performance standards, you are going to interpret a technical drawing. So we have the following objectives to identify the kinds of flowchart, to create a flowchart in a, accordance to a specific job, and to recognize the importance of preparing flowchart. So before we go on, let's have this motivational quotes. okay? So it says there, don't go with the flow, be the flow, okay? Who would like to share his or her insight about it? Um, I think that um, 
para sa sa akin, don't go with the school video. Ang baga ko interpret ko sa mga kaya, nasa buhay ko natin, hindi ko dapat sumusunod lang po tayo ng ating Yes, yes, yes. How about from our Google Meet? Yes, go, Nicole. Don't go with the flow, be the flow. As a student, I believe we should have the initiative and, of course, alongside with that, the resourcefulness. So rather than just going with the flow, rather than just sticking with the system, I think as a student myself and as a woman, of course, we're celebrating Women's Month, we should learn how to be the flow, how to take a stand and to take actions and responsibility alongside with it. Very well said. Very good. Okay, so let's go. Technical drawings is a graphic and technical communication tool. So it's a communication tool. Why? Because in our early age, during um, ancient times, they use this pattern, okay? They use this drawing for them to get communicated and for them to know what would be the first thing that they need to do. Uh, during that time, they use these symbols, these shapes, this kind of pattern for them to have this communication. So nowadays, we also use this one. Engineers and everybody, they use this technical drawings as a plan to convey information about how the object functions and is constructed. So everything has its pattern, okay? So in order for us to get uh, in track and to get communicated, to be in one line, in one direction, we should have this flow chart. So flow chart is the simplest way to demonstrate the parts of the planning system. Why? Because everything is in the flow chart from the beginning, which is the start, and down to the result, which is the end. Okay, that is flow chart. Can you please read? Can someone read here in the face-to-face? -face? Yes, Benagua? Flow chart. Flow chart is a diagram that Yes, it is a diagram. So as you can see there, it's a diagram with a graphic symbol to know the nature and the flow of the process. Also, there's another definition. Can you please read? Um, Ayawa, go. Flow chart. It is also referred to flow diagram commonly used by system analysts to visualize the series of processes in a business exchange. Okay, yes, very good. It is used, commonly used by a system analysts to visualize the series or the process in a business system. Okay, and also it is a useful tool to design the efficient business system and to troubleshoot if there is a problem, okay, with regards to that, there's, you need to delete it, you need to summarize it. So. You can see that, you can see everything that will happen. For example, you have your business or you have your plans. If you have this flowchart, you can oversee, okay? You can foresee what will be the result of your business plan or of your project. So in anything, if you use a flowchart, you can visualize the, the beginning and the outcome or the result of your project. Okay, so let's see here, we have these different elements of flowcharts, of course, as you can see on the highlighted one, we have the start and the end. It is a terminator. It's called the terminator. The symbol is oval, okay? So it is, indicates the starting point and the end point. Okay, how about input? After the start, we have here the um, input, okay? It, its um, symbol is like a parallelogram. Okay, to represent materials or information entering or leaving the system. How about in the Google Meet? Anyone? Yes, Karatai. Decision or branching point lines representing different decisions emerge from different points of the diamond. Just answer yes or no go or no go or go. Yes, very good. Because this is just a branching out, okay, that will represent if the decision will emerge, okay, from the different um, result or from the, the inputs that we're going to have. Yes, very good, Karatai. Thank you. Okay, next, how about the process? I would like to explain, I mean, lead and try to give the idea. What is the function of process in the whole okay, legion? Process. 
Yes. Yes, very good. Because you made a decision, you're going to make, for example, you're, go, uh, you're going to make a bread. So the the, this, the process will be, will be what? Uh, prepare your ingredients, add the flour, and then there we go. There are some process, which is uh, in order for you to make bread, do like this and like that. So you will see. You will see what's happening. Okay? Uh, and then you can uh, uh, eventually make a bread if you just uh, follow what's on the flowchart. Very good, Legion. Thank you. And of course, we have the sub process. It in the sequence or the action performed from your process. And of course, we have these different arrows. As you can see there, there are arrows that indicates or uh, the show it shows the relationship between each shape. So you will see in the arrows which comes first and then uh, where will be the next one. And of course, the end would be the result of it. All right. So. Any question from the elements of the flowchart? How about from the Google Meet? Any questions? Not at all. Not at all, ma'am. Here, not at all. Thank you. So I will be giving you two examples of flowcharts. So for you not to get, uh, see this as complicated one, I will just give two examples. We have here this um, linear and then the other one. Okay, and linear flowchart, as you can see, it is a single attached. Okay, a diagram that displays the sequence of work steps that make up process. This tool can help identify rework, redundancy, or unnecessary steps within the process. We will see right away which are the things that we need to delete or which are the things that we need to add more of it. Okay, for example, I have here, okay, my topic is all about how to create a computer. How to open a computer. So the examples here is how to open the computer. That's the, the oval shape, which is which indicates the start. And then the other line that goes to the next step, you are going to press down. Press the button of the CPU. Say, for instance, it's from the CPU. You press it. So arrow again. And then wait while the computer is booting up. Then arrow. Then after that, you enter. If you have a password, or click OK. And then arrow again, and then you can now start within your computer and properly shut it down if you're done. So if you're a basic uh, computer user, what will happen? Are you going to uh, open your computer properly or not? If you follow the flowchart, okay, are you going to properly open it? Yes. How about on the Google Meet? Are you going, if you follow yes, the properly. flowchart? Yes, yes definitely. You properly. Yes, open the computer very good next aside from linear we have the last one the deployment flow chart so as you can see here it is the actual flow and it identifies the people's group here we have this kind of groups which involve different steps also okay like for example this one okay computation of grades more than one is uh, the, the, the score or average you had for module 1, 90, module 2, 91, module 3, 92, module 4, 93. And of course, you're going to add them and then divide it by 4. Then arrow line. The final is, you will see the result. But for this demonstration, this is only. Okay, do you have any question? That's it. We're done. Do you have any question? How about on Google Meet? Do you have a question? So ah, none at all. Very good. Okay, so to assess... If you have learned something from this uh, lesson, can you please go to your quizzes? Okay, we have 11, 12, come on. Okay, you have um, one minute to answer this. Six, five. Four, three, two, and time's up. Let's see who's on the leaderboard. Thirteen! Yes. Congratulations, Nicole, on Google Meet and Kim Well, and the rest of these very good people, Cabo, Jose, um, Karatai. Six got perfect. Uh, seven, eight. Um, let's just make this 
uh, let's remember clear to everyone that technical drawing is a graphic and technical communication tool and flowchart is the simplest way to demonstrate the parts of the planning system and we have two kinds of, of flowchart the linear and the deployment and all of them are what has their def different um, elements of flowcharts and the rest will undergo to their development stage okay so do you have any question about this let's do your let's apply here okay you can get your notebook for those who want to google me it, please get your notebook with you and do this Make a linear flowchart. This is just an, at least two minutes activity. For those who are on the Google Meet, can you open your cam? For those who are working, okay. Let me see, Nicole. Let me see your your paper. Okay, notebook. Okay, very good. How about August? Very good. How about Lassin? Okay, very good. How about the others? Can you show you're working? Okay, very good. So that. Would be for one to two minutes and then I will be uh, calling uh, I guess go cleaning computer parts number one make sure that your computer is first first shut down and uh, electrical power number two ready your equipments like dry cloth cleaning agent etc the next Proceed on carefully cleaning your computer parts make sure that you put a glove to avoid to avoid grounding while cleaning. Then last, put everything back in place, then put your final touches. That's it. Wow, very good. How about Google Meet? Nicole, are you ready? Okay, good. Okay, so what I did po was, on the first one is the oval. So turn off or shut down your computer. Turn off or shut down your computer, and then for the next one, the parallelogram, I I input all the materials I will be using, like the fiber cloth, some um brush with small particles, probably a toothbrush, and then on the rectangles, I put here the process that I will do. So number one is to wipe the monitor. So I'll be wiping that first, and then to follow po, I will wipe the hardware. So probably the keyboard. So I'll use. Uh, I'll use the microfiber cloth to wipe the monitor and then I'll use probably the toothbrush to wipe the keyboards and the excess dot, um, dust around it. And then for the next one is I could finally turn it on or make use of it again. Wow. Very All right. Now let's go to... And your laser, by the way, it will be on your bright space, of course. Uh, you will answer the Google quiz there. Okay. It's in a Google survey form. Just answer it, and then it will be recorded. All right. So, any question? Is there any question? Are you Nana sure? Nana, Nana, Nana. All right. How about on the Google Meet? Any question? Nana, 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 Nana. All right. So, thank you very much. And before we end this class, let's have a closing prayer. Can we stand up for those who are on face to face and those who are on Google Meet? Just close your eyes and let's keep our presence in, in the Lord. Amen. And thank you very much. See you next week, guys. See you next week for those who are in the Google Meet. And everything will be on your Brightspace account, okay? So keep updated. Bye. And if you have questions in your outputs, just, just message me on our group chat, okay? Goodbye and thank you, everyone, and see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye, bye. bye ma'am. Have a great day. Bye, ma'am. Thank you all. Bye, Good afternoon. Have a great day ahead. Bye po, ma'am. Thank you po.